Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from the top 16. By, by the way, always remember, the, uh, the round number is down here. It's exclamation point round if you're ever wondering where the round is or what round it is. The, uh, the bot will tell you. Or you can also do it to troll me if I actually forget to change this, which sometimes I do. Anyway, you're watching the top 16 of the Veteran Flight Club Championship. If you're not familiar with the Flight Club Championship Series, the idea is that we held qualifiers. And depending on how you placed, you earned a specific rank and you were invited to a championship. Now, this tournament series will will it pop up again in its current form probably not we have some ideas on how we can evolve it but i'm excited to see where the veterans are these are people who got three to four wins in the qualifier and yesterday of course these are people who made the top 32 cut just one that um that their top 32 game are now in the top 16 our top 16 competitors each will be receiving the gsp dial dial cover yes that is the official name the gsp dial dial cover uh right here so i will um i will be somebody's asking why, why are you going to change the format i'm going to explain how i'm going to change the format in a little bit you'll see you'll see let, give me let me give me a moment to explain all right so um i'm going to open up the choose your champion betting right now my good friend james ritter is going to give you those lists let me know everybody out there let me see you choose your champion yeah, so this is a battle uh, for it's a, this is a very interesting uh, battle here because we have Mark Worrell flying Kylo Ren, Blackout, and Null. Kylo has Hate and Proton Torpedoes, so rocking some torpedoes and backed up by that force. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna hit. It's gonna hit every time. He has a uh, Blackout with Fanatical and Ion Torpedoes. And Noel and the TIE FO with automated target priority. So I'll just read Noel here. While you are not damaged, treat your initiative value as 7. So currently, Noel is not damaged. He does not have a damaged card. So he is an I-7. Uh, not going <clears throat> not gonna to be very important for the beginning of the match. Uh, but if he takes a damaged card, he then becomes I-0 initiative zero and can start locking up the bounty hunters. Over on the other side of the table is Curtis Bedevich flying three bounty hunter fire spray, 30 fire spray class patrol craft. And he has, all of them have thermal detonators and one of them has Zem Whistle Crew, giving those free lock actions and bonus attacks. And the one that has Zam is gonna be the red one at the top of the board. And got a fire spray, can't leave home without a Zam. Yeah, tied tie to the waist. <laughs> so, a uh, really interesting thing about this matchup, um, these players have uh, fought before. And pretty recently, actually, uh, they faced off in round five. And, oh my uh, goodness, you know, who, who won that one? Yeah, so uh, let's, see, let's see if you can guess. What do, what do you think? Um, when I do want, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess that Mark won. Mark flying the first order won that game 200 to 112. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from their talking back and forth, uh, they were saying that, after Noel got Noel out to initiative zero, he started getting in some great blocks. Mm, okay, there you go. So that Noel coming in really clutch in the end of the game, being able to get locks or to get blocks off. And here's our first attack. It's going to be two hits looking at those fire sprays. Going into the yellow one, and plenty of natties there. Now, Noel is not a uh, not a card that we see very much anymore. Uh, we'll talk about that here, here in, a, in a second. Um, here's the next shot. Here's Blackout firing from range three as well. Another full string, three hits. That bounty hunter still has a focus, 
And we'll be taking a single shield to start this salvo. Um, one of the things that um, that we used to see a lot on Null was squad leader, right? Being able to have an initiative seven um, coordinator because it also used to be very cheap as well. It was fantastic. And there it is. Hit crit coming in for the bounty hunter. These guys are moving at lightning speed. Oh, taking hit crit right here in the opening salvo and being that dropped down to uh, initiative seven. Zero. Sorry. Zero. zero. Excuse me. So this is exactly what Noel wants here. He wants to be initiative zero and being able to muck up the field against these bounty hunters. Yep, and the uh, the crit there was a fuel leak as well. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the, the – you were just saying it, right? Noel was used as an effective blocker in their previous matchup. Now, I wonder if now, since Curtis has seen the technique, will it help him plan better? Will he be able to put himself in, uh, in a spot to, to just kind of get Noel off the board and then be able to deal with the silencers? Yeah, we'll see if Revenge of the Swiss comes back to bite Mark in the butt because, you know, that, that that's one of the big things that a lot of people talk about. It's like, oh, we faced off against in Swiss, and you beat me, and now I know all your tricks. Mm -hmm. So can Mark repeat what happened in the past and pull out a win? Well, there's there's that debate constantly is do you do you have more than one plan? And if you only have one plan and it's good, do you actually have to change it? Like there's – there's that is – I feel like that is a um, – you know, th that's been battle strategy for, for a long time. You know, even when, when you talk about like uh, you know ancient warfare and stuff, like it's – you have to – you can plan. You can always plan. But if your plan is good, you can be consistent with it and that's what, you know, gets you your uh, your combat victories. We'll see what the choice is here. And again, we did, we didn't watch those other games, so we're not entirely sure. But we can kind of. I know Jonah's listening on on those players. I can probably get us an insight. But two of those fire sprays were able to do action, so they'll have nice range one shots on Noel. Of course, taking out Noel is great and all because it gets rid of the blocker. But uh, it's only thirty one points compared to the ninety one points on Kylo Ren or the 69 nice on blackout here we go Bl <laughs> nice. we're, we're gonna start with uh with blackout shooting this is gonna be a uh, ion torpedo into the yellow fire spray and that's a full string that's gonna be an ionized uh fire spray most likely and the answer is yes that is one damage and two Two ions, which means that that ship is going to be ionized. If you're not familiar with ion, go ahead and watch our X-Wing quick tips on ion. And here's the proton torpedo coming in from Kylo. Target lock, the one blank. And that uh, is going to be four. That's a hit. Change one to a crit. A hit. Yeah. Oof. Three hits and a crit. And it is Ooh. a direct hit. These fire sprays are going down fast. Yeah, now, that's we'll already half points on that fire spray. Yeah, yeah. When we'll end up seeing whether or not it ends up like what what can Curtis get back now? This opening salvo obviously favors uh, favors Mark when it because the silencers shoot first. We'll see what the response is. Mm. He is an interesting choice now because it looked like range one, but it's actually range two to null and blackout. And yep. uh, he might take the opportunity. Yeah, he'll take the opportunity here and go into blackout. Yeah, because null still has the evade. He'll yeah. Spend the focus for three. So this could be half points on blackout already. Mm, no, false. One shield. No, no. Not today. Just three agility. Too good. Too good. The tyranny of three agility, <clears throat> as people yeah. say. Hit crit only on that one. Now that's a crit hitting the shields. Here's a third shot. It's range three. It's actually a better shot to go at blackout. Yep. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. 
Spend the focus for hit crit. Got a chance to put one under the shields. No, oh. got what you needed. Man, the silencer is just proving how effective they can be at not taking damage. So here's Noel using that automated target priority, and it's coming in clutch here. Man, you gotta gotta calculate. That's gonna be two shields. Wow. Mark Worrell swinging hard for the fences in this veteran championship. So revealing you'd better mean business, uh, which is not going to uh, do anything right now. But if Noel had decided not to attack uh, the Red Bounty Hunter, he would have been able to recover two charges with that you'd better mean business. Yeah, that that's a situation where I'm not... I... Uh, the you should thank me um, was more likely, especially if you knew that blocks were coming in there. You know, it's it's one of those where I know you got three fire sprays, but just looking at the trajectory, like there was there was a good chance you were going to get shot. But anyway, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty on those. Um, oh shoot, I lost my train of thought. Where did it go? Mm, choo choo! Right. Who the lost door. my choo choo? Yeah, that, that was a great use of automated target priority there. That was perfect. Being able to get that calculate, spend it, and uh, get those two shields into that red bounty hunter. Yeah, so do you think we see any bombs? So those uh, we, we just had a game with, uh, with a ton of Republic V-Wings with thermal detonators. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see some, uh, some bomb drops here from these bounty hunters? Maybe try to catch Noel. Um, right now, I mean, Noel has a pretty solid one-turn barrel roll to the left, and you probably gum up the works that way. I was thinking almost, um, you know that, why, that, that yellow fire spray is ionized. If you one hard to the right and stay still, True if that. he tries to drop bombs, he's going to drop them on himself. I like that. Yep. And staying still right there, like he's probably going to get a bump on white and, or sorry, on yellow and going to make red bump. But he is dropping them from yellow. There it is. There's like, the risk. We, are we going to get that tactical bump? Looks like just one, though. And he, it is. It's that one hard to the right. Stand still. So guaranteed locking him in there. Here is the green bounty hunter pushing up, hoping to be able to catch one of these silencers in the back arc, most likely. And there's the bump and, after the ion. Yeah. And red is going to continue to pile up. So it looks like that thermal detonator that Curtis dropped is only going to hurt him. Oh, oh, Blackout ooh. fits the two bank uh, right in the back arc <laughs> of the green fire spray. Watch out. That's going to be a range one four dice hit. And I don't think there's anything you can do about that one. Man. Man. You know, you know, Mark, you know who but Mark, who's Mark? Blah, blah, blah. Mark's play reminds me of Dale Cromwell. Just go oh, fast. <laughs> yeah. Just go fast. Pew, pew. I, go I now. Think I think that bomb caught Noel. Did it strain I think we, I think, for the I red we, fire spray? I think we may have to get a judge call. Maybe. One hit. Are they calling? They're calling it no. Okay. Nope. It, it look, didn't. It, it didn't close. show the little white line. So. Oh. It is what it is. All right, and here is blackout. Going range one into, not sure the target, probably yellow. The yellow, yeah. Three hits. And using fanatical, because he doesn't have any shields. Nope. He's a fanatic. Gets yeah, two. So, losing those shields earlier is exactly what he wanted. <laughs> Yay, my shields are gone. Can Kylo Ren finish oh, him up? That's man. three hits, guaranteed. Yeah, that's money in the bank. Yellow fire spray gone. 
And these fire spray, this fire spray just got removed from the table with a quickness. <laughs> Swiftly. Yeah. Can I, just, can, I just, can I just say we're barely 15 minutes into this game? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? They're choosing Games, violence. Remember what I said? Like, oh, three fire sprays. Th those will yeah. burn down quickly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Three hits and blackout able to survive after spending the focus there. My goodness. Another range one shot coming in from the red fire spray. No modifications on this one, though. Able to get the average. Got two. We'll see if blackout can survive both of these hits. Both of those are going through. That's going to be half points down to two hull. Null. Now has a range one shot versus a strained bounty hunter. Only one agility. And that's hit, hit, crit. Null is a monster. An absolute monster. They just cleared. Oh, my goodness. A shield and a crit. What is oh, happening oh. today? And that is oh. another direct hit. Man, Revenge of the Swiss is, uh, is not a thing. <laughs> not, to, not today. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, you better mean business. Uh, not going to take effect again. Oh, man. So, again, Curtis right there. M two missed opportunities on his part to put out a you should thank me. Would have netted him a target lock last turn, a target lock this turn, and he'd have full charges for the next turn. Uh, there's a good chance that this fire spray could get burned down again and destroyed without ever doing a Zam bonus attack. Which, I mean, that's to Mark's, uh, Mark's benefit, right? Um, that Curtis, unfortunately, uh, has, yeah. not, has not set himself up for success with that card. Yeah, and what's really interesting, I think, is that uh, looking at the obstacle placement here, um, this looks like where Curtis wanted to engage. He wanted mm -hmm. to engage out here in the middle of nowhere with no obstacles. And Mark was like, all right, cool. I don't need no obstacles. We'll, we'll just, we'll just fight over here mm -hmm. in open space. And, uh, took that challenge and melted a fire spray and a half this turn. Torpedoes away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll see if um, if Curtis decides to change up his Zam tactics. Zamtics. 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 I think we'd definitely see some double bomb drop from green at least and mm. probably red. It looks like um, if Noel wanted to, the 4K does fit. Here come the thermal detonators. Dropped one more time. I hope that red fire spray is planning on going fast, though. Is that one forward just going to end end you in the same bomb again? And that's that's interesting that he's choosing not to drop multiple at a time <clears throat> it's the fear the guy, he's got he's got the yips man yeah, he's going <laughs> for the barrel roll man no, no so annoying get out of here annulling oh all right oh man and he got bumped yeah, I know you were talking earlier. We don't see no yeah. too often anymore since the since he lost his um what what's that pilot uh, the talent the talent slot because he can't take squad yeah. leader anymore. Yeah, he used to be really great with squad leader, but he doesn't even have the option anymore. It, you know, we we talked about it earlier. Meta meta list usage, right? Things that are meta are usually things that show success. So uh, when when a really good pilot changes, 
the perception publicly is like, oh, it's bad now. But Mark showing a, uh, for at least this play style, a viability for Null. There's one damage on Null, down to one hole. Mm -hmm. What that about the fire spray? Got him. Takes another damage there. Down to three mm -hmm. on the red fire spray. We may be done uh, at halftime here. <laughs> Uh, but this may be the end of Null, that pesky tie for shorter fighter. And that's just mm, just a focus not. result. Spends for one and safe. Ugh. Here's the range three shot going at Kylo Ren from the edge of the range band, and again, only one. May see a. You, ooh, he is. He, he's going to show him the dark side. That's right. It's free when uh, you only when you have your f charges full and you're not taking any other attacks. Blinded. Yeah, I, th I think that's an interesting one here. Yeah. Taking away the modifications, you could see that that is a priority for Mark, especially with all the blocking. Like that, when you when you're blocking, you're denying position and you're also denying modification. Yeah. It's like yeah, you don't have an action and you can't modify your dice, even if you did. Mm -hmm. And on that red bounty hunter who's carrying Zam, who could end up potentially getting those free Ooh. target locks. Yeah. That uh, that's a way to, to minimize the damage that can be done with Zam. So Kylo Ren still at full health here, four hole and two shields still remaining. Uh, on blackout we have two hole remaining and Null only one hole remaining. So this game could go downhill very quickly for Mark if um, if he's not careful and he lets. Uh, if he loses blackout and null. But Kylo is known to be a monster of a late game ship as long as he's moving last, which he is here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he's got that hate equipped on Proton, uh, sorry, hate equipped on Kylo Ren to be able to help with that force economy. Most silencers, especially Kylo, willing to give up the shields for a dangerous position. They're like, hey, let's go. Take my shields. All right. Now I now I start playing the ace game. Uh, but watch out. This Kylo Ren has a second proton torpedo in the tank. Uh, probably waiting for that green bounty hunter saying, hey, come here, big boy. <laughs> I got something special yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah. Blackout already has the lock on green. So mm -hmm. we may see... A uh, another ion fire spray, maybe a little ion proton uh, combo wombo. That happened last time. The ion with one torpedo and then punched with the proton after. Null continue to be in the way. There's that green fire spray ready to face off against Kylo Ren. Ooh, all right. This bounty hunter able to jump away, jump around here. No, no not blocked. Takes a focus. And we'll see where he goes. Kylo just getting some distance. Yeah, could see a boost or a focus boost here to throw an ion torpedo. Uh, a, a quick note. He did just barely miss the cloud, by the way. Yeah, it looks very close. We'll, get, we'll and, give you guys uh, that top down here real quick. And uh, I don't know if you guys know what Blackout's ability does, but... Uh, while you perform an attack, the attack is obstructed by an obstacle. The defender rolls two fewer defense dice. So he's going to roll one defense die here against this ion torpedo. That's sad. Sad. 
but he does have a chance. Three hits? To not take the ion. And that means um, if he spends a focus, it's going to be two. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, he is incredibly uh, sh- close to hitting that cloud. Should be t- oh, it's an ion. So yeah, okay, so one yeah. and an ion. Which they don't even have to put the ion out there, really. I mean, they they should they should. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? No. Three hits and a crit. Got him. Poof. Now a quick uh, a quick note about the cloud. Some people were saying, why didn't he um, uh, get get the modifier from the cloud? Remember, clouds only modify blank results, not focus results. A focus and a cloud give you nothing, no guarantees. You often you often hear us joke when you have like a five dice defense roll through a cloud asking for five eyeballs. That's you know, that's the only way you can that's the only way uh, you're gonna I, get damaged. Happened through. to me before, Dion, and it's very sad. <laughs> you're like, okay, cool. I, I you know I, I did my reposition to jump behind this cloud. That way I don't have to take any damage. As long as I don't roll like five focus results, See, no, that, that's not likely. <laughs> Wait, and well, then you roll the five focus results. <laughs> that. that you have to ask yourself what you did. What you did to deserve that role? There has to be. There had to been something that day. You forgot to wash the dishes. You left the came and got you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. So being able to clear null off the table um, could be pretty big here because there's no blocker to get in the way anymore. Mm-mm. Get out the way. Zam on a union mandated lunch break question mark. Well, right now, Zam, uh, it, it just it came down to the fact that Curtis unfortunately picked the wrong secret conditions. He put um, you better mean business down in the hopes of being able to regenerate two charges at once and then being able to have the bonus attack the next turn. The problem is if you are shot, you have no charges, and you put down you better mean business, you get nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. So most of the time, the play, especially with the crew card, uh, is to put down you should thank me. It is the safer option most of the time. In my opinion. There you go. There you go. Candid clarinetist. Quoting, quoting our man Wonka. Bull in the mood. Every time I log into GSP in the last three weeks, fire sprays. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there. They're good. They're definitely good. We are in the age of the fire spray. Now these, these fire sprays are not long for this world. Alrighty. <laughs> Daryl, bring back V1s. They did nothing wrong. I mean, yeah, we're actually. <laughs> so Blackout here doesn't even care about that thermal, right? It's like, ah, it's fine. Here's the first roll. That might make the shot obstructed so that the ability is live again. Kylo barrel rolling as well. Here's the roll from the thermal and does deal a damage blackout down to one hull after taking the thermal detonator. And this can be chosen to be obstructed. Blackout, one of the few pilots out there that might be like, yeah, let's have it be obstructed. Spends a target lock on the blank and did not get the conversion. Oh, had the had fanatical. Sorry about that. And that's going to be enough. That's going to be enough to dig some damage in there. It's only two dice available. Takes a shield. Starting to plink away at that green fire spray. 
So instead of uh, choosing to be not obstructed and letting him roll three dice with a focus, he said, all right, take two dice with the cloud modification and a focus and give me a chance at dealing damage. And he did it. He did it. So when a blackout works, it's really nice. Mm-hmm. But it's very it's very hard to get it to work a lot of the time. Yeah, because I deal like people usually overplay for it, and they end up like right smack in the middle, staring at an obstacle. Like right now, the only named pilot that I'm interested on try in trying sensitive controls on is blackout. Like that's it. Yeah. Now, the ability to reposition during the system phase with uh, with the tie silencer seems interesting, though of you know because of the blackout ability. Though one would argue, and the probably correct part of my brain is that uh, playing playing that hard for the ability and giving up the possibility of repositioning at a ni- or double repositioning at initiative five could be bad to, in in some matchups at least. Alrighty. The soul believes that sensitive controls and the the elite the defender elite should be zero points. Um, I agree with fifty percent of your statement. I agree with sensitive controls. The defender elite, I do not believe it should be free. Bonus attacks are extremely valuable. Extremely valuable. Um, and they they should pay the price for that one. All right, sneaking up here, range three. Kylo Ren's got a proton torpedo. Two hits. Two hits and a crit, and two evades are rolled. A single crit does go through, though, and that's going to smack off the shield. Some natties on that fire spray. Natties! And here we go. Here's a range two going from the green fire spray into blackout. Could clear him off the table. Blackout does have a single focus available. What do we get? Does he have a focus available? He does. That's going to be three hits. Needs all paint. Oh, Oh, boy. Got it. Got what you need. The tyranny of three agility continues. Uh, Nickel City said it pretty plain and, and correct there. Extra attacks are better than a single evade. 100%. And this is why it costs points. Uh, interesting point here. If he is able, if, if uh, Curtis is able to clear off Blackout, that will leave him at 100 points to 100 points. Mm. Final salvo! <laughs> and I'm gonna be, <laughs> all Kylo has to do is do a couple of damage to either fire spray. Alrighty. Yeah, but I mean these these fire sprays are chomping, man. Om nom 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 nom. Just nibbling away. Cause Do we so- maybe see some bomb drop from green here to prevent Kylo from coming in behind him? I mean maybe, but Kylo's got, got such a clear, like hard two to the right and just boost in whichever direction makes sense. Like if I'm Kylo, I'm not just gonna just Salty on up to the backside of a fire spray. I want to shim shimmery shim shimmery shim shim sharu away. All right. Oh, and that fire spray filling the gap saying, hmm, I think this is where Kylo is going to go. All 
I like it. I like it. And here's the boost from the red one. Covering that back angle just in case. Got the block on blackout. This could potentially set up the kill shot coming from green. Kylo splits the difference with the two bank. Going to barrel roll to the right to avoid the thermal detonator. And could end up going for the initiative kill right here. I love the confidence. No damage from the bomb. If you are able to uh, to do some big damage here, does not. Spends a target lock. And that's going to be a full string. Ooh, gives him some choices. Trying to save Blackout. Trying to save Blackout by getting the green fire spray to spend the tokens. It does. So only two damage going in there. Plinking away at the fire sprays. And range one, just barely by the base. I think there's an argument to be made that you shoot Kylo. Uh, I see you because he has got zero mods. Oh, uh, there, there is an argument there, but he wants to try to clear a ship. Two on one. He's looking for that two on one. Only got a single hit. Three agility Ooh, coming in. Oak is clearing. Got him, though. Oh. Got him. Just barely. Oh, man. Clearing that focus off the green fire spray uh, was really important. Yep. I mean, the three well, agility. It could have been really important. He was still able to sneak in the damage. That's right. So now it's Kylo Ren versus two fire sprays, one which is one hit point away from half, the other that is halved, 133 to 100 though. Mark is still in the lead with a full healthy Kylo Ren at 91 points. This is going to come down to the, uh, the wire, guys. But I mean, honestly, Mark, I have a feeling he's just going to kind of take – Shots of opportunity. Like he's he plays pretty aggressively, but he's gonna go. Uh, green is halved. He is halved. What is he halved already? Mm. Oh, yeah, they're, they're ten. Halved. Sorry, I had nine in my head. They're ten. Correct. Um, so already half on both sides, on both fire sprays. Excuse me. Um, Man, I mean, I think if I'm Kylo, I'm just going to go try to pick me off a red fire spray, and then you just kind of dance around till you get green. No hole upgrade, Dion. I'm telling you, hole upgrades got me, got me messed up. Is it possible for Curtis to block a two straight from Kylo here? Uh, mm, it. I don't. I don't think it was. He may have been able to do it if he banked into Kylo, and the corner of the base would block the two straight. Maybe, but it's close. And Mark was not willing to take that, but I'll tell you, the move by the red fire spray going a little bit faster does set up an uncontested shot into Kylo Ren. Able to barrel roll, possibly into range three. Nothing for green. And yes, a range three shot. Kylo does have a single force up. Remember, if damage, he would regenerate a, a force with hate, though it doesn't matter because he would end up being at full force anyway. Here we go. Oh, decisions, decisions. Spends a single force, does end up getting the first shield on Kylo Ren. And hate triggers there, and Kylo is back up to two force. 
Somebody reporting that we lost sound. I, I believe we're still alive. I think. Can you guys hear me? Am I all alone? I can hear you. Okay, just 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 on the stream is good. All right, cool. It's <laughs> like, like, am I am I all alone in this? I mean, I I know I'm alone in this room, but I don't want to be alone in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're connected. Me and all 500 of you guys out there. Hold my hand, please. All right. We got that Zam card selected. We have yet to get, yet to get a trigger for Zam. Neither of those conditions have worked this turn. Excuse me, this game. Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty crazy <clears throat> not being able to trigger it at least once. How's your dinner tasting, James? Really good? Uh, yeah. Did you can you hear me eating? I I just had a I had a feeling a, a disturbance in the force. Oh, it was because I was quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My my wife brought me down some spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti! Let's get some it gumbo was... in the chat for Miss Ritter and the spaghetti. Yeah, some some good spaghetti. All right. Oh man, this is a, this is a big reset for both the players. Mm -hmm. Mark Warrell is the epitome of a cowboy player. He just goes yeehaw, let's go, joust me. <laughs> but the thing is, like, he brings lists that like to go zoomy zoomy and do it well. You know what I mean? Like, he's willing yeah. to take resets, but he when he goes in, he's going for full dive mob. Dive, dive, words are hard right now. You know what I'm trying to say. He's just going for it. Yeah. He's going to make it work. All right, here we go. So, I mean, <clears throat> <laughs> this game is kind of decided unless Mark decides to put Kylo in bad position. Yeah, right, right now, the, the ball is definitely in Kylo's court saying, hey, could you come over here and fight me? Here, let, let's play in the playground that you made. Look at how look yeah. at all this open space. Yeah, because he is up by 33 points. If if Curtis is able to get two more damage onto Kylo, um, that'll pretty much seal it, right? No, because he can just kill one of the fire sprays. Yeah. If Kylo gets agency too, James. No. <laughs> he, he is the agency. He is the agency. I am the first order, the supreme leader. Long live the supreme leader. Mark's coming in. He's like, all right, you know what? I'll come and nibble you up. No more patty yeah. cake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, I think the ball is in Curse's court. Like, he he's the one that's down right now. He's the one that's gonna have to come back and and make up. He's gonna have to get half on Kylo. Mm hmm. Absolutely. And, and right now, it's gonna be about finding the positioning that you want, right? And Curtis, you know, he's not being uh, overly aggressive right now because he he's just get get your ships going. Make sure you have the arc coverage that you want. Pick your lane. Where do you think the battle is gonna be happening? And, uh, and point in that direction. Also, I like that he's leading with the green one. It is slightly healthier. And assuming that you you don't get a block. Because one of the one of the problems with, of course, blocking when it's a two-on-one is you're actually taking away potentially your advantage if you have a lower initiative ship that can be shot who is blocked, right? Like Kylo could shoot through the green fire spray and initiative kill red and have done it for no consequence like that it's a possibility especially with kylo being a force user and having those built-in passive modifiers yeah and then also um but, but i mean I, I think curtis has a lot of options because with those fire sprays having a front and back car and not being a bow tie or not being you know not being tied to the front or the back they can do some really interesting things where like green can like too hard here to the left and threaten, you know, threaten more area. Mm. 
All right. It looks like his plan is to keep a a focused cone of death. And Mark really doing a good job of utilizing the double repositioning here. Probably takes a shot through the cloud from green. Yep, that's range three. And, you know, I th if I'm Curtis, I mean, this is probably not going to do any damage. But if I'm Curtis, my next <laughs> couple turns is, uh, is ooh, okay, three hits. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe you get the other shield. Mm, five, no. five focuses? <laughs> Even then, you just spend two force. Yeah. Um, plenty. If I'm Curtis, I want to use these next couple turns to scoop up target locks. So you make sure that the next time you have Kylo in your sights with both of those ships, that you have fully modified attacks. Or if you're fo forced into some type of bump train, that you have an offensive modifier ready to go. Yeah, he already has a lock with green there. So <clears throat> green could do something like a one bank to the left or... Uh, he he has, he has so many. Options. It's so hard to to plan for these fire sprays, or to mm -hmm. know what they're doing because they have so many options open to them. Their dial is just crazy good with those front and back arcs being three dice. One interesting thing, though, we have not seen him, Curtis do any red maneuvers. Nah, red maneuvers are for chumps. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I mean, these ships are, are maneuverable enough where you barely need them, right? If you need to get turned around, you can you know, use your hard turns and, and repositions to get almost completely turned around. I kind of like the boost up to the left of the board to make that arc really wide. Mm -hmm. So right now, the arc, excuse me, the fire sprays are covering two different possible lanes for Kylo. Oh, Kylo does do the turn in. Yeah, this is what I phrase up because he he can slide he can slide in. He's got that barrel uh, roll to the barrel barrel yeah. to the right. Yep. And he has gas cloud coverage from red. Oh boy. This is a range one shot. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Four dice coming in from the supreme leader. Is Ooh, he gonna dump? He is he willing? He... Oh, he's got the he's got the lock. Oh, oh my goodness! He's oh that's so oh that's so uh, aggressive. Oh my goodness! Three hits and a crit. Well, three damage going in. What's the crit? What did we get? And the answer is a stunned pilot. Stunned mm -hmm. pilot. I don't think we'll. I don't think we'll see that happening. No, it is. Uh, it is the least triggering uh, pilot crit that's out uh, it there tr it, trigger, it triggers me it triggers <laughs> all right well speaking of being triggered let's see if uh if an attack can actually touch kylo through this cloud hit crit four defense dice so the only modification here is the gas cloud and it's enough and he's safe oh Man, that was such a risky and aggressive move. Yeah, not only did he, because he only had two force available, he target locked only the blank. Only, yeah, exactly. I would have target locked all that, but that's that's not. But that's the reason I'm not in the top eight here at the veteran championship. Not aggressive enough. Not aggressive you enough. You got to choose more violence. <laughs> It's the only GSP saying I can't ever put on a t-shirt, but you, you still got to do it. All right. So we have one bomb left from green fire spray. So I, I, I definitely think we're going to see a drop here. But then again, Kylo could just five straight away. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just imagining uh, all of GSP... Uh, walking up to AMG headquarters in the Choose Violence <laughs> shirts. <laughs> it's going to incite a riot. <laughs> yeah, just like, just like walking in, like, hey, guys, we're choosing violence today. Like, excuse me? <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Hi, how are you? It's going to set a great tone for our new, you know, community relationship <laughs> with AMG. That's why they won't answer my emails, Jonah. That's what it, that's what it is. 
<laughs> Epionic. Dion sent us. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what Kylo chose to do. Five straight barrel roll boost. Get out of the get out of the range of the bomb and get out of the arc of these fire sprays. All right. Twenty-four minutes remaining in this game. Uh we'll see if if Curtis is able to turn back around and, and get another pass at Kylo. Mm hmm. We got 24 minutes left on the clock, and and Mark, you know, he he's playing it. He's playing it very smart right now. Playing it very smart. Um, he has engaged. He's th this is the more traditional style of jousting. You take a pass. You flip around. You do it again. <laughs> yeah, I got target locked in the chat saying Kylo chooses when to sh when uh, when to get shot at. You don't. Mm -hmm. That's the rule. It is. It is. It's like sure. I'll, I'll I'll sit in the arc. I hope you die. But yeah. Well, there's a red maneuver that red talon roll. Yep, he's going for it. Dad Vader 66 amazed me how Zam is a non-factor in this game. It, it came down to the opening. It's just the incorrect choice on the secret conditions. And at this point, it doesn't – it's ineffective. There's not enough – there's not enough shots happening in order to make it make it viable. It's, it's what's the, the issue right now. And uh, Kylo just hasn't – and then the combination of Kylo hasn't been shooting or the, just Mark ships in, in general haven't been shooting him when he possibly did have the you should thank me out there. So perfect storm. Perfect storm. Sometimes it's sometimes it's just not the right one. By the way, I want to remind you guys, as we do hang out all day today, we still got four, uh, three more games after this one. Uh, stay limber. All right. Stretch. Walk around a little bit. Like right now, I'm stretching out the hips as we speak right now. Will yeah, I show so it out? Kylo doing these little figure eights in and out of these gas clouds, you know, using the gas cloud to protect him from one and to attack the other. And here we go. This was going to be going into green. Green Too started out the most healthy. Yeah. It's only uh, just recently that he started taking damage. And going for it. Seeing if he can clear him off the board. This is going to be a three dice attack. Oh, man. And another full string hit. Crit, crit. Uh, One crit does get through. And the answer is a council fire. Whew, that's that's, uh, that's, that's that's a little nerve wracking. That's spicy, James. That's spicy. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with council fire, before you engage, roll one attack die on a hit, suffer a damage. Which, of course, they're going to be engaging right now, so we could get an additional damage right now. And oh. yes. Oh, that's it. No. That's it. Killed yeah. by the Council Fire. Your ship He's... betrayed you, but he does still get to shoot because yeah. we are in that initiative step. Oh, Ooh. hit, hit, crit. He's going down. He's not going down without a bite, though. That's right. Kylo still has one force available, and uh, we'll be taking the second shield. Using hate to get back at force. Now he's back at full force again. So that's the second time this game that he's been over, not overly aggressive, very aggressive with his attacks and using hate to get back his force. All right, there's the you'd better mean business trigger finally 
finally happening. Yep. Remember, you have to be in in an arc in order for you better mean business to actually give you the two charges. So now it's up. Could end up being a factor now. But remember, Kylo at initiative five, um, depending on the amount of room that's available, could essentially choose each turn whether or not to be shootable. So expect Mark to be nice and patient here. Um, if I was Kylo, I would want to play in that open space. That way you have plenty of room to double reposition. Yeah. Yeah, he can just five straight here and just, like, say, you know, he can choose when to engage. And, like, like you said earlier, those tactical bumps to where you're like, okay, cool, I'll just, you know, I'll dial in a maneuver that will bump you. And, I, you know, I know that you're not going to shoot me. I'm, all right, I'm up on points, you know? Yep. <clears throat> Exactly. Now, right now, I'm trying to think, does <laughs> probably the instincts of most Fire Sprays players here is to try to get the back arc going. But the reality is that with uh, with Kylo, um, <laughs> you know, he doesn't have to chase. And th there it is, you know, like, I want to see if I can get the back arc going. It's very, it's a nice wide shot. And it looks Ooh, like the, fire, the red fire spray is going to have could, a shot, but it's going to be through a cloud. No, I, I don't think so. I think closest to closest is not the cloud. Oh, you're right. You're right. Here we go. Could be something here. Two forests are still available. Oh, man. That's three. Okay. All right. Hit, hit, crit. Watch out, Kylo. Oh, oh no. my goodness. That's half points, people. And there's a fuel leak in there. He oh. suffers one more crit. Kylo's just dead. <clears throat> so he needs to really pay, play it safe here. Now, let's talk a little bit about the arc dodging, arc dodging technique. Um, a, lot of, a lot of players, when they're trying to run away will end up you know, trying to create distance, right? Being outside of range three. One of the dangers of that though, is that each range band is significantly wider than the smaller ones, right? Range three is wider than two, range two is wider than one, and range one is the most narrow. It's actually easier to arc dodge at close range than it is to arc dodge at far range. So if you're trying to guarantee some, uh, some arc dodging try to get into range one like that is going to be your best chance of actually yeah. getting out and here we go kylo looking oh. angry decisions decisions oh no no you're like you you uh. <laughs> safe but i'm going to tell you though mark mark has been rewarded with his aggressiveness throughout this game we'll see if the caginess ends up oh, hurting no. him and you better mean business there's going to be two shots coming here two shots coming Here's oh, the bonus man. attack. If, if Mark goes down here, that's going to be crazy. Yep. I mean, Kylo didn't even have to shoot. No. Hit crit. Watch out for the fuel leak. Four dice, two force available. He's oh dead. My God. He's dead. The Supreme uh, Leader no, is. No, 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 no. He, he cleared the fuel leak. He cleared the fuel leak. Oh, he's he fine. cleared the fuel leak. No, he's got another one. Okay, Bad, the, the action was clearing the fuel leak. I missed that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lies of the Jedi, but second hit, hit, crit on the second one. Now okay. the supreme leader is dead. No, it was, it was only hit, hit. Oh, hit! Oh my God! Never mind. I'm I'm just gonna climb under my excited. desk. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> 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 lies, lies. Dion, calm down. No, I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> oh, man. Mark in the chat saying, I suck at calling the direction of dual arc ships. <laughs> RZ2 OP. F FFG, please nerf. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, try he's trying to play the Dion's good side there. That's right. Like, Dion, <laughs> help me. Help me. <laughs> nope. I so, got nothing for you. Yeah, I, I think... I I think now Kylo has some pretty good options to get in real close, like you were saying. And, and uh, so, like, being real close is actually, like you're saying, a lot easier to 
arc dodge, especially with double reposition ships, um, especially against medium and large base ships because they have such wide side arcs. Apostasis is uh, theorizing that I hate FO. Sorry, I just missed a fuel leak trigger and then I was messed up trying to remember what was happening. And I think I was explaining the arc dodging thing when it happened. So I just I missed it. I'm sorry. Please <clears throat> forgive me. Do you, do you accept, my, accept my apology, James? I, I, I mean, sounds like you do hate Apo a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a Christmas, so, I have a Christmas Kylo, man. How can I hate Fo? Have you seen my Christmas see talent? Oh, oh the there talent. it is. This is a this is a, a a shoot me. Yeah, I don't know if. Oh my way. goodness! Ooh. If he barrel roll boost or boost barrel roll, I think he might be able to escape the arc. Yep. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you mad lad! Going oh for the goodness. barrel roll. Is he still in range? Oh, no. Not in range. Here's the... the oh, my God. Oh, my, my stomach hurts. All right. Here we go. <laughs> range, two. He took the lock. He took the lock. If he's, is he going to stay aggressive? He's going to lock them all. Spends oh, one man, force for two. So dangerous. One goes through down to two hole on the red fire spray. This has been a great Zim. game. This and is, he just got a should, free lock. You should thank me sets up the target lock and gives him a charge. We'll see if that ends up being relevant. Here's a shot back. Has a modifier now. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm nervous. Ooh. Oh. All right. Has the lock. I think you spend it here. He only has one force. If he rolls like more than two focuses, he's done for. Mm -hmm. I think you spend it, man. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Take oh. take a cue from Mark and be aggressive. That's right. Come on. Yes, he's doing it. He's going for it. Let's see what we get. Oh, Ugh, just one. Only, only one. Just one needs yeah. a blank out. It's unlikely. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that last guy was spinning for a little bit too long for my liking. <laughs> All righty. The Supreme Leader lives on. 165 to 146. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got target locks. My heartbeat is up by 200%. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so at this point, Kylo has literally a 50 50. E these fire spray could, could one bank either way and then boost away. And, uh -huh. uh, and yeah, I think Kylo just got to make it 50 50. And he already said he's terrible at calling those spots. All right, let me know. Let us know in the chat right now. Are you going left or are you going right? If you're Kylo Ren. You're going to the left or the right? Which way are you going to shimmy? I know which way I'm going, Dion. Which way? Uh, the, the wrong way. Always the wrong way. Oh, going to the right gets a block right now. Yeah, I think you boost, though. No, I thought... This, mm. Kylo, this Kylo does not have extreme maneuvers, so... Mm-hmm. He's not going to be able to do some crazy boost shenanigans. Mm. I think if I if I'm uh, if I'm Curtis, I'm going to take a target lock right here. Yeah, you could take the opportunity for a lock. That's a good. That's a really good point. Yep. There's, there's no, no reason to boost get... here. Take take the yeah, target there's... lock, and you get, yeah. can end up with a fully modded shot soon. Maybe if you live. Who? Barrel, barrel roll, friend. There's no reason to risk that. Uh, he, he can temp bait a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> mm, target lock barrel roll is is uh, is the is the call. Yeah, right. yeah or, boost. or boost. It's fine. That that's fine. That, that's fine. Same 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 idea. Just not not staying in the arc.
My goodness. This this last half hour of this game giving people heart palpitations. <laughs> so Kylo, one hole, and the bounty hunter at two hole. That's right. Um, five straights are blue <coughs> on the silencer. A couple of people are uh, are asking. Yeah, just just assume that the silencer has all blues, and you'll be fine. <laughs> it doesn't have the three banks. That's the that's the one that oh. used to be used to be uh, a stress clearing maneuver in first edition, but no longer is. Some people. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It used to be. It was oh, too man. It was too good. I think this I, might be a, this this might be a misplay here. I'm surprised Dude, that the fire spray straight. didn't hard turn to the right. This might give this might give Mark the W right here. Yep. Hit hit crit. He's, he's at least gonna push through. He's gonna push through that blinded. That's right. Blinded pilot gets applied, which is absolutely massive in this uh this endgame. It's because of the I'll show you the dark side condition. Instead of taking a card from the top of the deck, there was a pre-assigned crit card that was placed on uh, on the I'll show you the dark side condition. Yep, that uh, that essentially nullifies all um, all mods for for the fire spray unless he uses an action to flip the blinded pilot. Wait, what, what do you think we see from Kylo here? I mean, <clears throat> with with one hole, uh, two straight. I was thinking just ten or three bank, and you can kind of hide behind those gas clouds if you need to. Nah, man, just 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 put them in a the coffin. It's time. Okay. <laughs> no, you gotta drag this out. We have like we have eight minutes left. Come on, put them in a the coffin. Let's go. <laughs> it's time. Two straight. Mark is, Mark is too aggressive for that. You're right, Pan Kiyoshi. Uh oh. The last thermal detonator. True that. True that. Two straight so works. Two straight barrel roll. You're fine. Getting that arc wide. Ooh. We gotta clear the blinded pilot. Uh, Mark. Oh, this. I'm surprised, to be completely honest. 100% right, honest. All you got to do here, barrel roll boost into range one. Oh, my goodness. All righty. So, Mark, playing it safe, getting behind the clouds. It's a correct choice. <laughs> all righty. Here we go. Two crits. Choosing not to spin the lock? He I can't. Think I would. He can't. He's. Oh, he, 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 no, he cleared, cleared the blinded. blinded. He cleared the blinded. Sorry. I think I would because I Lies. think this might be your last sh shot. The, the overlay lied to me. Spends the the, the, <laughs> uh, the cloud, ends up saving him. Hmm? Oh, I'm confused. Oh, he's, uh, uh, I'll show you the dark side. I'll show you the dark side. It has to be a pilot crit. And it's a, uh, another blinded pilot. I mean, it's not going to matter. He has only one more hole left. True. But. If uh, if he if Mark wants to get aggressive, actually no, it could matter. If Mark wants to get aggressive and is willing to uh, take on the um, the modifications for the um, from the sorry, take on the bonus attacks from the Zam crew and say, hey, you know what, you don't got any mods. I got the force. I'm just gonna try to kill you. But I mean, he only has one hole left. Right, but if on the, on the bounty hunter, if Zam. The bonus attack happens at initiative five, so it could kill potentially kill Kylo. I'm saying, like, Ooh, yeah, gotcha. Like, yeah, and then it's okay. a simultaneous That's a good death. Point. Okay, I I see I see where you're coming mm -hmm. from. Good point. I don't I don't even think about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Salva was always an option. Here is the Talon roll. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Mark, Mark's got all the options here. Oh, the two, the two turn didn't quite put him as far forward as I was envisioning. All right, so decision making time here. Boost. Barrel roll. Going forward, I think gets him out of the arc. Does he have Ooh. that back corner? It's going to be close. He does. I think that might have got him out of arc of the fire spray. Uh, the base difference there might be the reason why Kylo's not taking a shot back. That's oh, three hits. Guaranteed dead. money in the bank. Initiative kill. We'll see if Zam is going to be able to retaliate here. The Zam crew, we got to check that arc. Nope, that's it. For real this wow. time. The game is over. Are Curtis. Sure? We... Hold on. Uh, what? Are we sure? Yes. No, I'll just mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That's it. Curtis <laughs> falls to the supreme leader. Mark Warro left with a single hole. Ty Silencer, Kylo Ren. My goodness.